¿Qué tal Juan amigos? ¿Cómo están? Yo soy Juanma desde la Unboxing Toy Convention y bueno pues como pueden ver estoy en el stand de Transformers voy a platicar hoy con los diseñadores de juguetes de la línea Transformers así es que pues quédense con nosotros, se va a poner bien bueno So this is your first time in Mexico City? Yes Okay How is it to be in Mexico? That's the first question. I mean, is this your first time? Too? It is, yeah. Okay, how is it to be here? It's been amazing. Now, I, I, I can imagine this doesn't happen every day here at the convention, so it's a little unique. But from a Transformers brand perspective, we love meeting all the fans from around the world. So to be able to come to Mexico City, uh, see all of our Transformers fans, hear what they love about the brand, and be able to talk one-on-one -on -one with them, that's why Th what Thomas and I like love doing what we're doing. This is a like um, working together process. Yeah. Yeah. So he could be the best designer in the world, but if you don't do what you have to do, then the whole team has the same. So how's the process to be working together to bring the line to the public? Um, yeah, I think it, it is that you, you hit on it, Juan. It's a total team effort for us. Everything that we do for Transformers and Thomas and I are just two people that are representing a much larger team back in Rhode Island and um, everybody is so passionate about what they do and wanting to deliver the best experience for Transformers and continue to keep pushing Transformers to that next level. Um, so, you know, whether it's design, engineering, marketing, legal, packaging, I mean, it goes, the list goes on and on. It's a total team effort and everybody needs to do, do their job to, to make it happen. We work hard, but we also have a lot of fun. So, I mean, were you a Transformers fan from before starting working with the brand? Oh, I definitely was. Yeah. 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 You're more like into G1 or? Yeah, I am. I have a happy tendency to towards G1. Yes. How about you, John? I I came in. Uh, I had an older brother who was definitely into G1, and I threw him. I started to get into G1, but then when Beast Wars came out, that was it. Was my wheelhouse. I had never seen a show like it before. It sucked me in, and uh, and yeah, I became a fan. How's the process? I mean, you have like uh, an idea. You have to, to create a new toy. Then who starts working first? You, because you have to like start working on the field to, to to get the line done, or you to start designing? Well, well, it's different for every line. So sometimes we have to come up with something totally new. And in that case, like with BotBots. It's totally different from any you know n normal Transformers line. So I think um, it really depends on what we're trying to achieve. Um, but you know, I work on Studio Series, and I, and it's actually made me a big fan of the mo the you know the the movie series. I, I really love those movies, and um, and that process is different than developing for generations. So we're always starting at a slightly different point. Um, with the movie series, we have. The challenge is to get everything looking super accurate to the vehicle and the robot. And with Generations, it's more about uh, making um, a, a, a classic robot look cool for the modern day, but also retain all of the, the pure character traits that make him who he is. So um, we start at different points. I just add there a lot of what we do too is listening to the fans. So we have a, a global consumer insights team that are uh, that both of us work very closely with. Um, a lot of times it can just start with the consumer. It's as easy as that. What do they like about the line? What don't they like about it? What do they wish they want to see more about? What are the things? Listening to the fans is so critical to what we do because the fan base is, makes us who we are today and um, listening to whatever consumer insights they have, that helps drive us and give us ideas and uh, as to what, what the general public wants out of the brand. But as Thomas said, we, we're uh, the team that works on Transformers, we're also fans too. So it can get very, we have very fun brainstorms as to what we want to do next. And uh, there's never, Uh, never a shortage of ideas that we have on the team. It's more just trying to fine tune, well, what's the right idea and what's the right time for those type of ideas. So listening to the fans, a lot of times it starts right from them and, and trying to understand what they want. Now, how hard is it to have that kind of fandom over your shoulders? Because you have like the old fandom, like me, and now you have small kids going to the movies and start knowing Transformers. How hard is that for you guys? 
uh, it, it's always a challenge for a, for a franchise that um, engages cross generationally, um, across genders, across you know any you name it. Uh, to have to be able to ha- work for a franchise that's this big, you need to make sure that uh, you, you're taking everything into consideration. Um, but to be honest, that's the exciting part about working on a brand like that is it's so wide and it reaches so many people around the world that we want to make sure that we want to make everybody happy. And it do- it's not lost on us that we can come to a convention like this, sit at a panel and see people cheering for the products that you make. It's, it's, it's so... That's that's when it's all worth it. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a challenge, but it it's a, a good motivation to, to to develop a fan base that just loves what you're continuing to do. Yeah, and the feedback does help with the design process. So you know, when you're designing something, if you don't have any constraints, it's tough to to shape it to what it should be. So when we get a lot of fan feedback, we we have a better idea of what it is that we need to make. So keep the you know keep the uh, requests coming. We love it, and it, it helps us a lot. So thank you very much for this interview and for making those toys. You keep doing what you're doing because we enjoy it so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. Y a ustedes, muchísimas gracias, amigos. Nos vemos en la próxima emisión de Juegos y Coleccionables. Hoy estoy desde el Unboxing Toy Convention, Transformers. Nos vemos en la próxima. Adiós.